thought I'd do this uh, instructional video on some snowmobile maintenance. Kind of a basic thing, but I was looking on the YouTube there for uh, the disc brake pad replacement. Didn't see many of them there. I thought maybe I'd just make this video to help somebody learn a little bit more about it. I'm going to work on this 1994 Safari Deluxe. And it's got a disc brake system. And we're trying to replace the pads on it. Take the clutch cover off here. So this is the caliper system. What this does is clamps on the disc when it's turning. You see you pull the brake and you see this lever here pulls in here and what it does is it squishes two pads together, grabs the brake system, the disc here, and slows the machine down and stops the machine off the secondary clutch. So what happens is the pads wear out, so I'm just going to show you how they work and how you can replace them. So this is the caliper system I was mentioning and how it grabs this disc here to stop it. It's mounted here on the chain case, crank case here. Two bolts, or I remove those. This whole thing actually lifts right off like this. Cable stays connected. And then inside here, you can see there's the two pads. This is what squeezes together like this. Grabs the disc to stop it. As you can see, one of the pads here is worn right out. I take one out. You can see there's nothing left of that. And the other pad on the inside gets disconnected. This is an adjuster. it comes out a little harder to get out Just kind of twist it loosen these off here these hold the caliper together there see it's out as you can see there's the both sides there's the two pads so when they're in there what they're doing is they're getting pressed together and they're grabbing the disc to slow it down but as you can see they wear right this one's shot this one's got some on it but you should always replace them in pairs so we went down to orps and new market got our new pads here as you can see there's the new one there's the old one you can obviously see that that's they need replaced so we're going to put them back together and mount it back up we got the new pad here, we're going to slide it in. This is the outside pad. There's a screw in here that goes in to hold it in. Just got to line it up, get it started. There, I think we got it started, starting to tighten up. Got a lock washer on there to hold it. It threads right through. I don't know if you can see right down the middle there. So that holds that pad there. We'll get the other one. It'll go in the other side. It's going to go in there. We're going to mount that in there. So we've got the caliper split here. Got the one pad mounted on there on the one side. And the new one on this side. So we're going to put the caliper back together. bolts up and I put our little adjustment plate on here actually got to take that off first so we're putting the caliper back together just had to add this little spring loaded adjustment here it holds pressure on the had to put it on before you put the adjuster on so you got to put these bolts back together So now I'll mount like that. We'll get our other mount here. This slides into here. Like that. We've got our new two new pads in there. And we're gonna mount it back on the disc. Mount like that. These bolts will mount back on the chain case. Like that, and we'll put this pin back in here. Do some adjustments, and then we'll get our brake working again.
Okay, so we've mount, remounted the caliper. We're just using the two mount bolts that hold this caliper mount here. And we're just tightening them up. There, getting tight. Snugged up there. We got another one down in here. Just get the open end wrench and kind of get it back in behind there. It holds it. So that's getting tightened up. Snug that up to spec, but we're just guessing. Getting her snug. There, so that mount is solid and this thing just slides in there you had to hook it over the disc right and then get the mount on there tighten up the bolts and we'll just put our little system back together here which is when you squeeze the like that puts pressure on the two pads and then i'll squeeze that together and stop the disc okay so we've got the caliper all back on we've got the pads remounted this clips back in here there's a little adjustment wheel in here so what you do is you kind of you press pull the pads together and you turn this little adjustment knob in here and that'll give you the adjustment for the pads of where you want them and if you have any problems if you, some parts that you don't know where they go when it comes apart you can go on the internet here and you can see here very detailed schematic on how everything goes together i'll zoom in on that there so you can kind of get a good shot and that kind of gives you the explanation of how it works and here's your two pads in here that we just replaced and all these parts here so in case you lose something you can kind of see how it goes back together that's just the basically how it works and i uh, hope it helps somebody anyways i kind of want you to fiddle with it it's not too hard half an hour or so get someone to help you an extra set of hands anyways you get a new set of pads and you're ready to hit the snow again take care all the best